Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and for today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Wi-Fi driver on your Hackintosh machine. And the first thing you need to know is to know your Wi-Fi card. So if you're using Windows 10 or 11, you can go to Device Manager, then Network Adapters, then look for the Wi-Fi adapter. Or alternatively, you can use Google and search for the Wi-Fi card of your machine. And the hard way, you can open up your machine and physically check the Wi-Fi adapter card from the inside. Now, how to know if your Wi-Fi card is supported in macOS? So you can head over to Dortania. So I will leave the link on the description box. And click on the supported and unsupported chipsets. Then from here, we can see the list of the Wi-Fi adapter cards that you can use or even the unsupported ones. So some of the Wi-Fi cards or chipsets will work on certain macOS version like this one. So some has the High Sierra, the Atheros Wi-Fi cards, then the Broadcom or even Intel. So if your Wi-Fi card is not supported, then the alternative way of making your Wi-Fi card work is by buying a USB Wi-Fi cards like this or even changing your Intel Wi-Fi cards. So currently Intel are supported as well as some of the brands on this USB type Wi-Fi's. So what are the Wi-Fi cards that are supported? So as of now, as of this recording, so I will provide the link on the description box. So this is the working and tested Wi-Fi adapters that you can buy. So currently I'm using this one, Archer TU. So let's see the image. So I bought this one, then installed the Wi Fi driver or the text for this USB type Wi Fi adapter. So you can choose from any of this list. So you can go for this kind of Wi Fi cards or the even the smaller one. So like this one. So whichever is available on your online store or physical store, so you can look for or hunt for any of these Wi-Fi USB type dongles. So the installation for this kind of uh, Wi-Fi cards on this list, so you just need to scroll up, then currently it's supported on Mac OS Ventura, Monterey, Big Sur, and Catalina. And if you're using uh, open core bootloader, so you can click this one and if you're using Clover you can click on this link so right now I click on this first link then click on this Wi-Fi adapter link so the installation is very straightforward so let's open the zip file then let's open the folder then install this installer then click on open so in case you have encountered the error so you want need to open up your settings then go to privacy and security then you just need to allow this installer then you need to click allow or open for this installer to pop up then click on continue then continue then continue and install then once it, everything is installed so you can restart your computer then plug in your USB type dongle then you will be able to see the icon for the Wi-Fi and be able to connect through your Wi-Fi networks then if you don't want to have a USB type Wi-Fi dongle so the alternative way is to look for a replacement for your Wi-Fi wireless card. So some of the Wi-Fi cards supports Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi at the same time. So you can install both of these installer into your machine. Then for the list of the working Wi-Fi cards on Intel. Okay, so here are the list of the Wi-Fi cards that are working well into this driver. So let's say this one.
So you can look for any online store that are selling this kind of Wi-Fi cards. So you can choose from any of these Wi-Fi cards. So I would prefer to have the Wi-Fi 6 since it's the latest and fastest Wi-Fi cards available in the market. Okay, so you can look for eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, whichever online store you have. Then once you replace your Wi-Fi card into your machine, to install the firmware or the KEX file or the drivers for these Wi-Fi cards, so just head over to GitHub, then click on this ITLMW. Okay, then click on the stable, the latest one. So you will need to download one only. So for this demonstration, I will download this file. Click it, then, then let's go back. Then click on the heliport. Now click on the latest version. Then click on the heliport. Okay, once it's downloaded, so click on the heliport file. Okay, so if this block, so you need to change again the settings on your machine. Then click on agree. Then just drag heliport into your applications folder. Then on the other file, the ITLWM, so click it, then copy. So we need to mount our EFI folder. So if you have the open core configurator or the ESP mounter, so let's mount our volume. So click the mount, then open up the volume. Then head over to EFI, OC, then text, then paste the ITLWM from here. Then go back and open up the config list with Open Core Configurator. Now to install the KEX, we need to go to Kernel, then Scan and Browse, then select the ITLWM. So currently I already installed this one. So click on Open. Then it will show here, then make sure it is enabled on the checkbox. Then once everything is okay, so click on File, then Save. Then you can reboot your machine. Then you will be able to have the icon for the Wi-Fi at your taskbar. And for the Bluetooth, the same way, just go back. Okay, so install or download this Bluetooth firmware. Then click on the latest one and then click on the zip file so extract it again okay then go inside then copy this kex file again into your efi then efi oc then kex okay so once you paste it there then go back to config plist again, then open up open Corp configurator. Then go back to kernel, then scan and browse again those kex files. Then add it up here on the window and make sure it's enabled. Then do the same process by going to file, then save. Then you can restart your computer and try out the Bluetooth if it's already functioning or working into your machine. So all of the links that I have discussed in this video will be provided in the description box. And that's about it and thank you for watching and see you on our next video.